This video will show you how to properly set up a standard distillation apparatus to isolate limonene from orange zest. For this experiment, you will be using a macro distillation setup. Please do not move the preset equipment or remove any pieces from it. To start, check out a macro kit and thermometer from the ILSG window. Your kit will contain a powder funnel, a 250 mil round bottom flask, a fractionation column, a three-way connector, a thermometer adapter, a vacuum adapter, and four blue clamps commonly called Keck clips. You will have brought in two or more oranges to supply the zest needed for the isolation. The zest of a fruit is the very outer layer. When removing the zest, try to avoid the next white layer known as the pith. To remove the zest, you will need a zester and a beaker. Rub the zester across the orange so that just the colored part of the skin is removed. You'll need to constantly rotate the fruit. As the zest collects on the zester, occasionally wipe it from the zester into the beaker. Do not place it on a paper towel as that will soak up the oil that contains the limonene. Remove as much zest as you can. With the flask in the heating mantle, use the powder funnel to transfer the zest into the round bottom flask. Then add a few boiling chips and 125 milliliters of water. You are now ready to assemble the distillation setup. The water-cooled condenser has already been set up on your bench. Place the fractionation column onto the neck of the round bottom flask. Secure it by pushing one of the keck clips over the area where the two pieces meet. Place the thermometer adapter on the top of the three-way connector and add it between the fractionation column and the condenser. This will probably take a bit of adjusting. You'll use Keck clips at each of the joints. Now add 10 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride to your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. While holding the vacuum adapter and graduated cylinder together as one, angle the top of the graduated cylinder away from you and slip the adapter onto the end of the condenser. Then rotate the adapter as you stand the graduated cylinder upright. Attach the adapter to the condenser with another Keck clip. Last, slide your thermometer into the thermometer adapter. The bulb of the thermometer should be positioned where the vertical and horizontal parts of the three-way adapter intersect. When properly adjusted, you'll notice the fractionation column is tilted slightly to the left. Using a high heat setting, heat your mixture. The contents of your flask will begin to boil and you will eventually see vapors go up and over into the arm of the three-way adapter. As the vapors are cooled in the condenser, they will become liquid again and drip out of the vacuum adapter into the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. This condensate contains your limonene oil. If you look carefully, you can see the oil droplets in the sodium chloride solution. You'll want to collect condensate until you have approximately one to three milliliters of oil, which you'll see on top of the aqueous solution. Tilting the graduated cylinder helps you to see the oil. Once you have enough limonene collected, Turn off the heat and unplug the heating mantle. Wait until there is nothing more dripping into the graduated cylinder. Remove the graduated cylinder by rotating the vacuum adapter and tilting the cylinder. Using a transfer pipette, transfer the oily top layer along with some of the aqueous layer to a 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. Feel free to collect a total of 5 to 10 mils. Allow the mixture to stand until the layers separate. Then remove the lower aqueous layer and deposit it into a beaker. To dry your product, 
Add a micro spatula tip full of sodium sulfate to your centrifuge tube and give it a good shake. Continue to add the sodium sulfate a little at a time until the solid is obviously white and you can clearly see some granules at the top. Last, using a plastic transfer pipette, transfer the liquid, trying your best not to get any of the sodium sulfate, into a pre-weighed 4 gram vial. Record the mass of your product. In order to clean everything, carefully disassemble your setup in the reverse order of assembly. To remove a tech clip, just push firmly from the open side and it will pop off. To clean your round bottom flask, swirl what is left inside of it and shake it firmly into the blue bucket labeled for fruit rind waste. Then add some more water from the sink, swirl again, and pour that into the blue bucket. Finally, clean the round bottom flask with soap and water, not acetone. Rinse all the other distillation pieces with water also. Place everything back into your macro kit and return it to the ILSG window. Analyze your product as instructed by your TA and be sure to save it for next week. Good luck and thanks for watching.